What's up, everybody? Tricky Guy Podcast, your former award-winning radio host, former college basketball player, Brent Bilski here with you. We got my man, Tony Blackburn. What up? What's up, T? $2 Tony, as we call you. <laughs> no, we ain't doing that today. We're not doing that? Yeah, no, nah, we ain't. We back in the building. Man, lots of things to discuss today. I'm going to give you a new upset pick. I got one and a reason for it. Princeton? I will not tell you yet. You're going to have to just wait and see. Also, uh, we got a couple little just woke points I want to make. NBA, some interesting things going on there. We got some funny videos for you, so lots to get into. But let's just get right into the beginning. What Happy a Monday. Week. Happy Monday. What a weekend, like you said. Man. Yeah. March yeah. freaking March madness. madness. Dirty soda and styrofoam. March Madness. Pizza type. What an unbelievable weekend. Now, we both have admitted that college basketball is not necessarily our favorites, and watching it is exactly what I thought. It was fun, but it's also frustrating. I hate. I hate. I hate. But it's so many teams to watch, bro. Yes. Like, how do we watch all that? You know, well, like, I did. On a weekend, like... Uh, you know, your weekend is different than mine. Mm-hmm. But, like, on a weekend, how you watch all those games? You you don't do much else, to, to be honest. That's it. That's it. And most of this information will most likely be useless, other than maybe NBA draft and stuff, as far as for myself. But for people listening, man, there was so much things to cover. But, yeah, I mean, the same issues that I have with college basketball, I watch play out. There was too many fouls, especially at important times. Breaking a trap. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, only one school I noticed really knew how to break a trap. You knew, actually, though, and I'm not going to give a lot of time today, but I'll tell you who does play actually smarter, better basketball. Who? Women. I love the ladies. I mean, they uh, rev my engine. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I guess. I, I mean, watched. I'm not going to get into that. I watched a little bit of Iowa. By the way, Stanford number one seed over there lost. South Carolina is like they're the Kentucky right now. They're like they're supposed to just cruise yeah. on the women's side. But Iowa has that Caitlin Clark chip. I think uh, UH is, is busting right now too. Yes, U of H. By the way, on both sides, uh, men's basketball as they come back to Houston, that's going to be a big deal. And March Madness is here in Houston, right? So you know what time it is. So only one of the last two number one seeds standing on the men's side. But I will throw. I just because I wanted to watch Caitlin Clark a little bit. We had mentioned her before. We had shown a game winner. She's, yeah, she busted. Yeah. She's nice with it. She's nice with she it. She is. She pulled up she logo. She better than you. Yeah, I mean, pro- nah, you know. No, nah, no, nah, I don't know about that. Yeah. Nah, Brink your shoot. Yeah. Hey, don't get it twisted. Brink your shoot. He ain't just over here on a podcast. Mm-hmm. He really can't hoop. I appreciate that. And uh, But on a college level, like, yeah, I, I, I can beat or compete with almost anyone. Caitlin Clark might give me that business. No. Nah, I don't know, I, man. I don't know, bro. Uh, yeah, we'll see. But the point being, watching it, I did notice, though, um, when they went into zones and traps, they didn't, you know, they didn't mess around much. They got it to the yeah, middle of the like, zone. Yeah, but, like, the NBA has evolved so, I mean, not uh, NC, NCA, like, it's evolved so much. Mm-hmm. Like, the trap stuff is different. It's a different ball game. Ale- a- athleticism. Always be careful with athleticism because it will help you overcompensate for not over for not being able to think out the game. So I think yeah, but if you if you if you if you athletic like uh, and you have both yeah, they don't think then you're a dog yeah, yeah. then you're a Damian Lillard, Kobe Bryant, you know that type, you know that type of guy who can yeah, Chris Paul guys who can think and do both, but the women's side where they just yeah they're not just able to go down the middle lane and, and tomahawk on people. I watched them think the game out better. We're getting sidetracked. There was a lot of great upsets over the weekend, and I mean a 16 seed one. Yeah, number ones that went getting right. Down went <laughs> Purdue. Get right. Down number ones didn't get right. Purdue. I don't know. Yeah. We mentioned Princeton is in the Sweet 16 as a 15 seed, one of the very Side few. Time. I stayed on uh, 51st in Princeton. You know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And they did a really, you know, as far as that was a team I watched when not just once but twice, Arizona and Missouri, where they were just able yeah, too. to outthink. And also when especially Missouri went to their trap, a full court press because it should not work. Defense works. Well, Defense wins the game. Mm. Offense gets the glory. But as far as breaking down the press, when Missouri got behind and they tried to press Princeton, it was a joke because you got a bunch of Ivy League kids, and they actually do have a couple athletes, but they can think the game out. So yeah. when I watched other schools foul. It's math. 
It, and yeah, and exactly, geometry. Like it's, it's frustrating. not. Frustrating. It's mad. Bro. Frustrating. It's frustrating. I've explained it. It's frustrating. A hundred times, and I'll explain it again. In a full court press, all you really have to do is put the person where the ball isn't and throw that person. Throw that shit. <laughs> oh, I'm cussing. Yeah, no, you're good. I mean, honestly, because I want to say the same thing of like, just throw the goddamn stupid effing hey, freaking here's my ball. Disclaimer: I got I got no no sleeves on it. This much disclaimer: got the guns out. Yeah, you know, yeah. Get the guns out. But they were able to break down the the press better than any other school I saw, and so I think that was a huge issue as far as why they were able to do it. And we spoke about the press last week. Yes. We about, yeah. Pass out of it. Right. The, the oldest drill most coaches will do to kind of like it, when you're early on, at least. Other than the uh, three man weave? Then three man weave, which by the way, Kansas ran. And I, I think it's one of the reasons they got upset. I, I didn't like their offense. It was very three man weave ish. And I'm like, that's just, it's not, it's cute for the Globetrotters. <laughs> you're funny. But for ball movement and spacing and all that, I didn't like Kansas or Duke, both who lost, by the way. I didn't like yeah. th their offense. But the first thing a young coach usually does to try to just emphasize why passing is so much better than trying to dribble or do some of the things that I'm still watching these college guys do is first thing they'll do, they'll take the fastest kid on the team and go, I want you to dribble down the court as fast as you can. A second, get past the. Half court. And, and time how quick that goes. And then what they'll do after that is they'll take a basketball and just throw it all the way down the court in like one second versus five. Just to emphasize the point of like a thrown ball goes faster than you dribbling okay, the you. ball. You know what I mean? And it should be such basic knowledge. But you didn't see that a lot in some of the, especially the early round stuff. I think the ones who you've seen – continue to move on in this tournament and will continue are the ones who can just do the simple fact of traps and presses. So you got to win it all. To win it all, you got to be able to UH, U of H. The Sasser, I want them to win. It, it's I a, want them to win. It's a great story, and as you pointed out as we were walking up here, the fact that Houston is going to be in their hometown yeah. for the tournament. They're supposed to win. Bro, if, you at home. Home court advantage. We talked about shooting on other people's court. Right. Right? Like with the Warriors. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, get uh, as far as their home court advantage, being able to take advantage of that. It is. It's just It's just easier. It's just easier when you're at home. It's easier with their home crowd. You got that energy. Um, although the 16th seat, FDU, almost had home court last night. Unfortunately, they were not able to move on past the second round. But still was a great story there. And got to show them some love, but they lost. But they really had the closest to a home court I had seen as far as, like, even the casuals. It was a 16 seed almost making it to the Sweet 16. Yeah, they was going to make it. Yeah. yeah. But there is one thing I do want. I have a new segment for us. A new segment? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ain't briefed me on that on the right end. I know. I didn't want to tell you yet. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Why and how... I was right again. We're going to call these when I get these right. Wasn't, you wasn't right. Let me see. Uh-huh. We're going to get these. Let when me I, see. When I get these right. Let me see. We have a new segment. Shots called. Shots, Shots fired. fired. Shots Bring my fired. joint. He's calling his shot. Shots called. All right. Tried to tell you. you Tried to, to tell you. When the that? yeah well we have put the jaw thing to bed as we've discussed the jaw thing. I done told you. I done told you. But there was a specific thing when it came to because there was a lot of big upsets and right. more than there used to be, and I'm hearing all these reasons why. But if you paid attention, oh, a couple weeks ago when we first started talking March Madness, I had made a point of why I thought you would see the upsets. And I will play it for you now. I will uh, go to this myself. Was the video here right now. You can go to yourself. I'm gonna go to myself. Bet. Yeah. Bet. Hear my rebuttal. All go right. Ahead, here it. we go. Run it. Why the upsets happened? Now again, we both had, are admitted of like, dude, we don't really watch college like that. But I would look for senior teams if you're trying to pick them. Look for that because it's not that those one and done mm -hmm. guys and those talents won't be better eventually. But in college, you're seeing this play out a lot. Like, the perfect example I can think of that was early on, it wasn't one and done, but like Christian Leitner versus yeah. Shaq. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaq clearly, as a sophomore, you knew was going to be better than Christian Leitner in the future. But when they played in college and Christian was in his prime, Shaq will even openly admit he was better than me, and when we were head-to-head, -head, ate my lunch. Ate my lunch. 
Now, when they played each other in the pros, he won seven. Shaq won seventeen to nineteen and was outscoring him like twenty eight to twelve. Yeah, that's Shaq, big right. diesel. You know what time it is. But Christian caught him as a sophomore in college, and Duke was able to beat a team they had no business beating if they were both twenty four. But Christian was older; he was younger. There's still a little bit of that development. So you've seen that now with the blue blooders. They have to pick a lot of one and duns, and they're going against these VCU's and stuff that are almost all four or five year seniors and juniors. In the tournament, in this one game why scenario, that experience so plays out. So that's why I think you've seen more upsets in the last few years, mm -hmm. because you're continually getting that situation of, yeah, these guys will be better in three years, but it's not three years; it's today. You know true, what I'm saying? True, true. Um, and they'll be better in three years, and then the NBA is a whole different ball game. Mm. All right, I'm done. First of all, you gonna cut me off, bro? You doing that? I bet, am the smartest man well, you, alive. you were saying the clip was too long. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was, it was a long clip, bro. Get, yeah. You, your time to shine. Go made, made a great point. And, and uh, first of all, uh, boy, I'm handsome, even on camera. No, you're not, bro. You know what I mean? Even you with, look like you ain't brushed your teeth that day. I brushed them, but the, the, <laughs> like you brushed the beard wasn't trimmed that day. I had I, I had got to you, scraggles. Bro. You know I cut hair sometimes. I know. You, yeah, you need to hook me up with that sometimes. I got you sometimes. But I said it from the beginning, one of the reasons you're really starting to see a lot more upsets is the, the smaller schools are now almost completely filled with with juniors, seniors, graduate seniors, and these, you know, typically what we expected to win and have won historically are starting a lot of freshmen, sophomores. And so while, again, you, you replay this four years from now and put these same two guys to, or two teams together, the Kentuckys of the world are going to kick the snot out of these lower seeds. But that's not what's happening. It's today. Right. And today they're 23, 24, your 18, 19 year olds are your stars, and it has played out. I even looked it up in the upsets. Go ahead. I ain't got nothing, bro. You ain't got nothing? I ain't got nothing. Just proving I'm right. Man, I'm tired of being right. Just to give I'm, you an I'm going right. to let you be right because you pulled that clip up. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Call my shot, man. To give you an idea, I'm so call it tomorrow because you guessed that. So I'm gonna call it tomorrow. Yeah. So uh, all the upsets, uh, like some of the big ones, I looked in just to make sure I wasn't just blowing smoke up my rear end, which I do enjoy. But yes, the what, the big one, FDU, you know, beating uh, beating Purdue, the number one seed overall, sixteen one, yeah, only second that time. Yeah, that's happened. Yeah. And so it was uh, not only almost all seniors on FDU, but especially at the guard spot. And that was something I forgot to mention that I think should be emphasized. But you, you know, look, look at the age of uh, the talent, uh, the age of these kids. Like, bro, it doesn't matter if they're a senior, freshman, or sophomore. If you can ball, you can ball. You can ball, you like, can like, ball. Like, bro, you, you over 40, you can ball. Right. Right? We have people that we know is 20 that can ball. Live mm -hmm. in the building. Like, if you can ball, you can ball. But in a one-and-done situation of just the game itself, all the pressure in the world, TV on you, having a few years of experience. Yeah, ball out. You know, not everyone does. Hey, you're going to ball hey, out. Hey, don't get mad at me. Yeah, everybody watching. The bro, numbers are playing out. out. It's, it's showing the bigger upsets you are continually seeing, uh, either freshman or younger team losing, even though they're more talented, to a senior-laden team of guys who won't be better in the future, but they were better in that moment because they just they got an extra – especially think about, okay – is there any more formative years usually from, like, teenage to manhood than, like, 18 to 21? You know what I mean? You ch you grow and change yeah. a lot in those three years. You develop a lot more. That's different, yeah. Most seniors in college, and, like, FDU, they weren't just uh, – their two starting guards weren't just grad uh, seniors. They were graduate seniors. You know what I mean? Like they're yeah, like they're on the way out the door. Yeah, these are grown-ass men at this point. They're 23, 24. Purdue started two freshmen in the 16-1 upset. Yeah, but, like – all right, imagine going to play pickup ball. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? If you had those two individuals, like, they're going to hoop, bro. This ain't pickup. This is March Madness with all the okay, lights well, on you, uh, all the pressure pick up, on pick up you. Pickup ball and Rucker on Chicago on Lakeshore Drive. You know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Everybody watching you, you got a ball. You can ball and pick up. You can do, but I'm telling you, you're getting, I'm just, it's, it, I'm, I'm trying to explain. So, okay, look at uh, the other one, too, by the way. Michigan State is a perfect example of a school. That has almost never gone the one and done route. Tom Izzo back again, another Sweet 16. I want to say it's his eighth now in a row. I had that stat somewhere. Sweet you 16. Guess that, bro. You guess that. For the 15th time, he's in the Sweet 16 because Michigan State very rarely, even the guys that made it, you know, to the NBA, even in, in nowadays, I have not seen a lot of one and dones from them. You know who they were supposed to play next? Who ended up losing? Ooh. Kentucky. 
king of the one and done, John Calipari uh, in Kentucky. Uh, well, look, bro, you got this because I ain't uh, a college person, but I've watched some of the games the weekend, so let's go. Yeah, so Kentucky should have been there, but they lost to Kansas State, who, by the way, was a senior-led again. They had this little point guard, Noel, who at the NBA level will not be the kid that he lost to. Uh, the kid that lost, Wallace from Kentucky, was a, their freshman point guard. And you know what? Balled out. 19 points, I want to say six assists, something like that. Him yeah. and that, and the senior who's like this little feller. He's like... <laughs> Isaiah... Uh... I ain't going to say that, you know, Isaiah yeah. Thomas Jr. You know Smaller than Isaiah. This guy was tiny, tiny, but a senior versus a freshman at the end, a couple big shots by the senior knocking down free throws, and Wallace and, and Kentucky were not able to get it done. So now Michigan State, who is mostly senior-led, has moved on. Kentucky hasn't. You look at Duke. Duke. Yeah, Duke, yeah was a considered one of the lowest-ranked fifth seeds in all of NCAA tournament history as far as, again, their talent. They're, everyone's saying, look, it, you yeah, got this dude, guy's first yeah. round. This guy's going to be first round. Yeah. This guy's going to be first round. Well, they're gone. They it's aren't like, there no more. Damn, like, it's gone. Like, I was right. I said any given Sunday. Mm-hmm. Football, but, you know, basketball, any given Sunday. They're going to ball out. It's, 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 it's the, the lights, the building. Right. It's your time to shine. But, again, freshmen crumbled. Uh, the Duke uh, Duke team that lost to Tennessee, Tennessee mostly seniors and juniors, yeah. Duke started right. four freshmen. You have uh, – we already mentioned Kentucky. So you losing. really think it's about, about your being a freshman and a sophomore or a junior? You really, I don't think so, bro. Mm, you I ball, do. I don't think so. Again, if you wait until later in their life – Will it? Because that's why I brought up the Christian Leitner Shaq yeah, thing yeah, from before. Yeah. I'm like, look, Shaq. Once they both develop, both. You know what time the, it is? It's Shaq, Superman. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Destroyed. Destroyed Christian in the NBA. But he got bigger. Life changes, and then he learned the game more. The teams he was on, you know, Orlando, Speak Lakers on with Kobe. Come on, bro. It's mm-hmm. different. It's different. It's different. It, it, life. You, you mature. You mature. You mature in sports. But we're not in the NBA. We're not in, in college, bro. Right. What they supposed to be in college? Partying. Partying like a rock star. I mean. Yeah, like, you know, whatever. That uh, They hoop, too. Yeah, that's one way of looking as far as, like, what you could be doing and should be doing in college. But, yes, I still, and it seems to be playing out, which is why, by the way, I have my upset pick for the Sweet 16. We are going to see if it happens. But because, con- continuing on my theme of, like, one and done freshmen, maybe programs that aren't necessarily keeping up with, you know, the extracurriculars of their team versus, say, a senior-led school who they're going to face now who looks pretty good. I've got number five, San Diego State, upsetting, guess who? Run. Who's the school we've been talking Roll about? Roadside. I know you're going to go. Alabama. Alabama. That's my that. upset pick Bro, for the weekend. Brandon Miller, bring my joint. Mm-hmm. Hey, they're not going to lose. Okay. It should be like, I don't even know if this bracket is possible. It should be like Alabama and Houston. They will face each other in the fine. I mean, they, is it, they is won't it possible? even. They're going to have to get to the. Houston. They're going to no because the Houston's in the Midwest and yeah, Alabama, Alabama and Houston. Yeah, they would have to face in the I'm national. Call Alabama and Houston national championship. That's, yeah, I'm calling that right now. All right, I am telling you but, right I'm now. I'm going with UAs for the win. I like road tie, but I'm going with Alab- I'm going with Houston, bro. Yeah, San good. Diego State. No. And their four senior-led team no. will defeat in the next round no. Alabama and their no. two freshman star, Brandon Miller. Hey, Brandon, if you watch this, bro, don't let them beat you, bro. Alabama! Bring my joint. The new Kentucky of, like, starting to bring up a lot of one-and-dones, not necessarily keeping an eye on, you know, kids will be kids and all that type of stuff. It's so funny. All of the and I, and I could also mention the Brandon Miller having a groin injury that is oh significant my God. and he's, not, he's still balling out. San Diego State's nice with it. I, I watched them play a little bit. I ain't watched any of them games, so maybe you're right. Uh, I'll watch and see. Yeah, and San Diego State has four seniors. They got a nice spread of shooting. You know what else is important too? Last thing I want to mention in the NCAA tournament. That's a statistical. Then I had another thing I noticed I wanted to bring up that actually San Diego State transitions me into, but. Um, the fact of having a top-heavy team was not good either. Like, teams that were only playing five or six guys total, it, it, it there's too many fouls, there's too many stupid mistakes. Too you got time on the floor, stamina. You got to have a deeper bench. The, Duke only played with six. St. Mary's, I believe, only had five or six. And uh, their star guy, Dukas, got hurt in the middle of the game, so they just were depleted by the time the second half hit. 
that was an important part. But because, again, my so far it's playing out. Seniors versus freshmen. No, nah, I said Houston from the beginning. You say Houston. H- I said it from the beginning. H-Town does have some seniors in there, so they yeah. can get it all done. But my I next, want them to win so we can have some pool parties at the house. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. We've, we've hung out with some of the Houston football guys before that we'll keep quiet. Lit. Yeah, yeah they, they can get a little lit. Not lit, but they they cool. Yeah, they're very cool. Um, but, yes, my upset for the next round, we'll, we'll see it's next, not till Friday, but I got Alabama. Alabama! Freshman stars losing to San Diego State. Bro, Alabama's not losing. Hey, Brandon. Y'all not losing to San Diego. <laughs> like, come on, bro. I've been the same. Y'all not losing them. Uh, not so it's going to be Houston, U of H, and uh, Alabama, bro. You know who losing to San Diego, bro. Come on, cut it out. They might. They not. They might. They not. You know who else is in there right now, I've noticed. Um, uh, let me throw this out real quick. Have you seen the head coach for Arkansas taking a shirt off and stuff? I have not. This is pretty funny. Like, the head coach apparently. I had a long weekend. I ain't seen none of that. Yeah, this dude. Th- I've never seen a head coach do this before. Let me just cut to this real quick, and I'll bring up the other major point I wanted. I noticed in the NCAA. You throw X's and O's out at some point. This Razorback yeah. team stepped up big time. Oh, yeah. You deserve to take your shirt <laughs> off. Hey, you deserve to take because they could have easily folded in when Kansas made their run in the second half. But the lineup. That was led by Devo Davis. The little things. Sometimes it's hard to defend the South. Alabama! That's Arkansas, but still, head coach ripping hey, his shirt off and stuff, going crazy. He posted, bro. I don't know about all that. Marsh Madness, bro. I don't know about all that. Dirty soda and a styrofoam. Did beat Kansas, though. Like I said, yeah. uh, Arkansas moved on. We had Michigan State, San Diego State, and um, a couple others. But you know what I noticed? I want to mention this. This is an interesting point. I don't know if anyone else is going to bring up because it is kind of – it's somewhere between woke you about to say? and, and right. getting in trouble. But I noticed it, and I looked it up, and it's real. Uh. One thing that's a new kind of, like, fold, a lot of Africans. Oh, did I hit that? Oh, shit, I don't want to get canceled. Um, kind of forever, bro. What you mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, Not – white black american i'm talking about at, like truly from africa there is now athletes. been athletes there is now a surge if you notice i was i'm like it's one of those moments where you're sitting there and i'm like okay i got to be very like i'm just watching the games and again like you said we've been kind of trying to catch up and let's just face it cuz i'm white cuz he's white cuz he like, is white look at him man i, I don't i don't want to just be like uh, just gonna... but i notice patterns and i'm like it seems like almost every team now has some big ass dude from the Congo that is just fundamentally really like knows the game, tough as nails. And I'm like, is that just one or has that just been just two? I'm like, no. And then I looked it up. I mean, you look all through the tournament. You had, again, San Diego State's got uh, a, a kid. We have uh, Sonogo from UConn. There was Shweeb, Shibwe. That's the other hard part, too, is trying to get because they have the truly, you know, the names where a lot of consonants. Yeah, trying to pronounce them names can get a little difficult. Yes. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Thamba from Baylor, and the cool one I want to talk about, Maddie Sissoko out of Michigan State, as they have moved on. Yeah. But there is a yeah. there is a huge influence of it as far as like it seems like coaches and stuff are really starting to now pull from that area specifically, which kind of makes sense. In a couple ways, besides the obvious. Although I'll say are, this: Are you mad, Brent? Do you want to be black? Who's no, happening? no like, I no, mean, no, I'm, like, I'm, no, all, no, no, I'm no. all right. It's no, all no, right because no. it's hey, all man. white on the basketball court. Trust me, if I could have had yeah, a little bit higher court, vertical, you hoop, you hoop, yeah. yeah. But, bro, I mean, I get it. Um, it doesn't matter about your skin color. Athleticism is what it is, mm-hmm. and this is what they have maybe put in more work, and you know. They did this shit. Interesting you bring that up because I I looked into it. So there's a couple things I want to point out. One, I will say if you look at the truly, like, African big, uh, strong, they're big, strong, obviously, athleticism. So I don't want to point that out too much because I'm going to get into, like, a weird situation. But not as bouncy as American African American. That's like a, you know, that's a whole weird. Black players in America are bouncier, seem springier. 
as far as like yeah, I didn't you got bunnies. Like, yeah, they you got, got bunnies. Yeah, bunnies yeah. that I didn't know. The African dudes are big, they're strong, they can do a lot of things, they can run the court very well. Um, as far as having the athleticism to switch out to guard the point guards on pick and rolls, which is big. But I didn't see anyone really punching it. And I started Nah, thinking, bro, they more thirsty. They want they want to be in the NBA. They want to be in the limelight. Like they they they're more thirsty in the NBA uh, America, like we we privileged, right? Right, we privileged, you know, whatever household you grew up in. It's mm-hmm. not as bad. I don't know, but it's not probably as bad as the houses in Africa. So we privileged, so we don't go that hard. Bringing up a great point. So that was the one thing I noticed. There's a little difference as far as, you know, the quote-unquote stereotypes, but also, and a college recruiter told me, told even told me this, because I come from privilege. I'm not going to sit here and lie to people, that one of the things, if they have two players that they're looking at as a recruiter, they will always go for the one who has less to lose, or excuse me, more to lose than the other one. Back to Dion. Yeah. I mean, when you get to a certain point, doing stuff uh, as a former college player, I will tell you, it sucks. It sucks as far as, like, it's 5 in the morning in the summer and all your friends are partying and you got to get up and run three miles with the team and go to weight room and do film study. And go I understand that, th- like, being in the military, I had to get up there early, so whatever. Yeah. So military gets you in the idea that you can't once you get in. Yeah, you, yeah, I did twenty years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you, you already know what time. I it still is. wake up at five in the morning, no matter what I did the whole night doing Tony things. I, I, yeah, yeah. So having the same thing of like getting to someone who not only knows what real hardship is and not this privileged American sure. stuff. Lack of options as far as, like, there's really not much other things they can do to get the education or the citizenship here that they want to help out people back home versus just even little stuff. Like, even in the most, usually even hood areas and impoverished, like, trailer parks, wherever you want to go where you're going to find people that don't have a lot of money. Usually stuff, cell phones, you know what I mean, malls. But this Africa, bro, don't get it twisted, bro. It's still busting over there. Like, don't don't get it twisted. They, they show you the... Uh the bad part of Africa, but like it's still over there. Who keeps setting that sounder? That's, 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 sorry, I'm gonna get me in trouble. But yeah, no, there's plenty of. But I mean, so real quick to give you an example, it's still at Michigan State right now. There's a guy uh, Sissoko, Maddie Sissoko, looked him up, yeah, and man, yeah, and very and like you said, uh, this is a story of one of the many now good situations. Now there are bad ones as far as uh, like anything else in the world, life, yeah. life. Yeah money, a lot of these, as again, there is this huge now push for it and bringing in these kids from Africa. There is a lot of middlemen coming in the recruiting and like finding ways to get their little chunk of change, visa issues, lying to the kids to get them here. But think about that though. Uh, Also you had like bringing kids in from Europe. Yeah. Oh, this is the exact same thing. Same thing. So why is it an issue? It's not that it's an issue. It's an issue as far as the same thing of anytime there's money involved as far as college basketball, you're always going to put people in the middle. So there's people getting upset saying like that, you know, look, they're taking advantage of these kids. Maybe this isn't a good thing. We need to keep an eye on this. But anytime there's money, you're always going to have some idiot trying to find his way to use these kids for his own gain. That's just beneficial gain. Yeah, I get it. Money, 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 money. But as you're saying, Johnny. like this is all this really has become, and it's a good way to kind of emphasize what I'm noticing is like the, the European influence that started about 20 years ago. Once the Dream Team, Mono, yeah, and showed up, and you had the Manus and the Vitskis and all that. You saw a big flux of Europeans, big, big dirt. Yeah. yeah, now you're seeing like Mobamba, Bol Bol, Taco yeah. Fall, like yeah. a lot of guys come straight from African countries now, and you're seeing that now make its way into the college ranks. But the Sissoko story is very, like, just inspiring in a lot of cool ways as far as, you know, first couple years. And this goes back to, like I'm saying, you get this rut usually, especially in bigger programs where you're not playing much and it can be frustrating and you want to quit. He didn't play hardly at all his first couple years in Michigan State, had injuries, they had the COVID thing. And this poor guy had to deal with, you know, just learning the language to speak it like properly to his teammates and all that. Not yeah, so he can be able to communicate. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, but has quadrupled his minutes this year, mm-hmm. and is kicking quadrupled. quadrupled his minutes this year. Having a great tournament, playing very well. And the cool thing about it has used his NIL money and his scholarship, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's sending it back to his family. 
As you start, should. Starting a school. As you should. So this is a beautiful story to me. Like, I wanted to bring all this up to point out, like, I'm not just doing it to be like. Shut up, Maddie. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's a lot of Africans out there. It's weird. No, it's great. And, and not only that the game continues to become truly worldwide, but that you're finding kids now who really seem to, you know, for anyone out there, middle America is like, these kids don't appreciate and they just, you know, they're out there for the money. The guys like Sissoko are not only amazing representatives of college basketball, but just humans. You seen what uh, uh, some thug said? Because Jordan's selling the Bobcats. Or no, Murray, yeah, I know yeah, Jordan's yeah, t- yeah, 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 talking about that. It, yeah, yeah. So uh, some thug said that once he sell it, he should start his own league and then change the rules. You know the rest beyond that BS. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, so this uh, Sissoko, I mean, talking about, you know, little things. Like, again, lack of options. Uh, he still has family that he can't contact because they haven't had phones, but because of his foundation that he started. Right. Now that he's playing at Michigan State, satellite phones are being sent back, yeah. starting a school in uh, Mali That's where lit. he's from. That's I mean, lit. yeah, cool story. So little quick thing I, I noticed there. You know what else I noticed, too? For middle America that may not understand or think it's a woke point, it's not – and it shouldn't be a surprise that female – announcers and analysts and referees are doing a good job. I love the ladies. I mean, they rev my engine. But I can guarantee... I love the ladies. Yeah. Right now, there's people watching the tournament, watching the halftime shows and stuff, going like, Candace Parker. Oh, man, she can dunk, too. She can dunk on you. She can. She can dunk and, on you. and I will say this right now. Candace Parker is one of the best analysts. And she's pretty, too. And she's, yeah. I mean, she's not unattractive. I'm not, I'm not lying to you on that. Um... But as far as analyst goes, I just want to point that out real quick. Give her a fair shot and listen. Candace Parker knows her stuff. Uh, she does. Uh, you see, KD just made a comment. You, you know, I know you don't like KD. Uh, he made a comment about Charles. He said, as as a basketball player, he's a superstar. Right. As analyst, he's like, you know, I don't rock with him. He's an idiot. Right. Charles Barkley uh, is funny. And, 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 Katie, and, and Katie was like, yeah, you know, I have my opinion. Mm-hmm. You know, he can hoop, but. Analysts, they just get them up there. And there's too much of right now this idea that just because you formerly played means that you're going to be a great analyst. Uh, I mean, a lot of these guys aren't as nearly as good an analyst as they were a basketball player. Charles Barkley is a perfect example. He can be terrible sometimes. Candace Parker He's on the other, terrible. yeah, yeah on the yeah, other yeah. side, give her a shot. Listen to when she talks. She's not only breaks down the game very well. She does a good job too of like oscillating between having some humor to it but not getting silly. Because she's on Inside the NBA with them. I love yeah. when she's on there. because and she's on there. Like, yeah, I love it. Kenny, Shaq, Charles, very entertaining, but they can get silly. They can go way off topic. Candace. Will... But they on TV. They, I mean, you got to get it. They, they, they're probably friends. They probably hang out. Yes. Like, like as you hang out in my house sometimes. Sure. Like, yeah. So sometimes it gets off topic. Mm-hmm. But you want to try to keep on the train. I just wanted to point that out, is that I think Candace Parker, the more I've watched her in the last couple of years, by the way, was the first uh, woman commentator at the NBA All-Star Game this year. She's been able – she was there for yeah. LeBron's scoring record. Yeah, whatever. Former number one uh, WNBA uh, pick, first been... college girl uh, – first woman to dunk in college – in women's college tournament yeah, history. Yeah, McDonald's All-Star Game, yeah, she was in the dunk contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so if you haven't been watching college basketball and you have the, I, I guarantee there's at least 30% of the country when they turn on the halftime show and see a tall black woman giving analyst, uh, being an analyst for men's basketball, I promise you. First of all, they they haven't, they don't know her history. Like, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, she get down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, she will ball all y'all out. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? She probably ball you out. I ain't going to lie. She's but got like, the height. Yeah, she probably bought you up. Bro. Still playing WNBA. Yeah, she, she, she probably bought you up. Bro. She could, she could give me. She the probably bought you up. But so her being on TV, obviously she knows the game. Yeah. So I just wanted to make that point for people that might be douchebag says, "Oh, well, see, well, it's an, you know, it's one of those no, hires." No, no, people don't know she will ball you out. Uh, the WNBA is a real thing. Mm-hmm. There are women that could ball too. So you know. yeah. Like, and, again, basketball, like we were pointing out, though, with Charles Shaq and everyone inside the NBA is kind of irrelevant to being an analyst. As far as being an analyst, it's really kind of just growing up with the, the game. Watching the game. No. Watching all the college games, watching all NBA games, know who does what. Like, it's intel. Right. Watching it. Like, yeah. Yeah, you have to watch it and know it and say, uh, likely, based upon historical norms, 
this will probably happen. Right. And she is insanely good at it. Her and Doris Burke, if you were looking for any female specifically to be like, hey, you know, women can do this too. Those two are shining examples right now of people that just understand the game, that do the hard work, and it's showing in their product. Right. So I thought I'd give a little love to the ladies for that. Shout out to the ladies. I love the ladies. Yeah. I love the ladies. I mean, they rev my engine. All right. Um, those were the main college points I wanted to make today. That's all I got for college, man. Yeah. I've been trying to watch the games. There's just so many teams to watch. And, like, it's on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. You know, on Saturday I've been doing stuff. So I, it's hard to watch the game the whole time. $2 Tony stuff? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll get we got tonight, me and you were most likely both going to be at the Rockets-Warriors game tonight. It's oh, here in I Houston. forgot about ba, ba, da, ba, Yeah. I'm going to make some phone calls when we leave here. We're going to the game tonight. Man. Rockets playing well lately, and, and unfortunately for the Is Houston Rockets. Uh, Steph should yes, be playing. Yes, we're going to the game. Clay should be playing. Splash Brothers there against the Rockets. Let's Rockets! Go. Rockets, it's always about the Rockets. It's always about the Rockets. I'm still rocking with uh, Houston, man. We're going to win. Well, the problem is if you're I'm Houston. I'm rocking with the Rockets from Houston. You don't want to win, though. Houston doesn't want to win. I know they don't want to win, but they do want to win. They it's have a pride been, too. Thing. It's a pride thing, bro. You don't go on the court to lose. Right. And you don't go on to lose, you go to play. It's an interesting dynamic. Houston's still in dead last, 18 and 53, but are 5 and 5 in their last 10. And it's such an interesting dichotomy of you have upper management, I promise, looking that they're dead last at the end of the season, going like. We're this close to Victor. We're I this see, close. I see Please that, bro. stop but winning. My pride is Steph in the building mm-hmm. in H Town. What it is, I'm trying to win. And they're sucking too. Jalen finna get it busting. The Golden State Jaylen Warriors get are just awful right now. Just 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 for the simple fact of playing the Warriors, mm-hmm. and I know we're in last place. Like, my pride is not gonna let me tank no game. Yeah, and yeah, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna get down. It's one of those things too. The Golden State Warriors, unfortunately, is really it's it's just sad to watch right now. They're they're too small. They keep having six, this. Yeah. They keep yeah six nine and under. They keep having this attitude too that I don't like. So I want to watch them tonight. They, they they've lost. I want to go to the game. They've lost eleven road games in a row. We spoke about this shooting on a different court. Yes, yeah. taking the. Same and yeah, they're they're shooting. By the way, it's not just they're shooting the three that that struggles on the road. It's defending the three. Their energy's not the same. It's not. Uh, you think it's a locker room thing when uh, Jordan Poole caught them the Draymond yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, he caught that two piece, no biscuit. They just lost to Memphis, where Draymond, by the way, was suspended because his stupid fat mouth got him another oh, yeah. technical Memphis, foul. Yeah, Me- Memphis got down on him. Yeah. But he had like 32. I forgot who it was. Dylan Brooks, yeah. by the way, nah, played. Dylan Brooks had nothing, but I'm talking about the other dude who had like 32. The, the whole Memphis, they beat the snot out of him yeah. by 25. But Dylan is the one that's the story. Did you see? He, cause he, he, he did, wants to be uh, Draymond. Wants to be Draymond, but Draymond sleep, wasn't playing against Memphis as they lost over the weekend. But look at Dylan Brooks after he makes a shot because him and Clay Thompson have been going at it. We'll wrap up this 43rd victory for the Grizzlies in a moment. Get you ready for Grizzlies live post game. That yeah, is look next. His face. <laughs> look at his face. He looks like a demon. He, he on demon time. Not demon time, but he, he outside. He's also been pushing cameramen. Dylan Brooks has been doing Yeah, all, he pushed, all. I saw that too. Yeah. yeah he, did he get suspended for that? Uh, no, actually, which I found interesting that nothing really happened to him. But I think he had fined like 35000 I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, for pushing the camera, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I mean, Dennis Rodman got suspended for a very long time for kicking a cameraman back in the day. Yeah, but. back in the day. Dennis Rodman told uh, Travis Scott he stole his uh, his design with the upside-down Nike. Did oh, you? really? Yeah, he yeah. just said that. He just spoke about that. Um, the other thing, by the way, from the Memphis, I'll just point this out because I'm a big Warriors guy. Ooh. I don't know if Clay Thompson – is this is really at the this point in the season as bad as they've been playing against seven and twenty nine on the road? They are now all the way down to seventh place. They're only damn seven. Uh, excuse me, seven twenty nine on the road. Yeah, seven and twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah, really understand that that record. Seven and twenty nine on the road is the current record for the Golden. Oh, but they're gonna definitely lose to Houston today, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's just seven um, and thirty. <laughs> the Houston. only teams that have a worse losing record is on the road is Houston at six and twenty eight, and the Spurs at six and twenty seven, both going for the lottery. Other than that, no one in the Western Conference has a worse road record than the Golden State Warriors. It's oh, embarrassing. Yeah. Y'all losing tonight. 
So, H-Town, turn up. if you're Clay Thompson, and you and Dylan have been going back and forth, and he did this earlier in the season, does the bringing up the rings thing still have the flex? Here, I'll show you this real quick. They don't really get the flex, bro. Like, 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 all right, don't talk about what you used to do. Right. Talk about what you're doing right now. Look at Clay. This was after the game was over and Memphis kicked their ass again. More free throws for the Warriors. But because of that physical defense, he it like wears old you dude down. It gets it to bro. your legs. But what it also does is it Four. makes you try to do a little bit more. And with that doing a little bit more, it gets you out of your rhythm. And I thought that Dylan did a great job of getting them out of Look, he said, I'm in your head, bro. Yeah. Look, he said, I'm in your head, bro. I don't care what you used to do. I don't care what you used to do. I'm doing this right now. Can you still hoop? What your knees doing? What your ankles doing? What this jumper do? What that jumper do? Even as a Warriors fan, I'm starting to like, and you even see it like uh, one more time. Let's run the beginning because you can see even Steph's face is kind of like. Yeah, Steph looked like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know. More free throws for the bro, Warriors. That's a long time because ago. Because of that physical defense. It wears you down. It gets into your legs. But what it also does is it makes you try to do a little bit more. And with that doing a little bit more, it gets you out of your bro, rhythm. And I thought that Dylan did a great job of getting your... them out yeah, of their right rhythm. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. That was – you got that. But he said, I'm here now. Right. I wasn't here for that. Yeah. I wasn't here for that. You did that, but I'm here right now. What you going to do right now? Right. And even as a Warriors fan, I'm like, I don't know how cute it is to keep doing the one, two, three, four, four rings. Like you said, it's not, as we talked about the past. college, same thing of like, hey, a few years back, a few years forward, it's not today. Yeah, bro. It's like, not today. Like today what happened today? Right now, you see his hand on his face. We are, we here right now. Mm -hmm. What you finna do today? Dylan Brooks, and Dylan Brooks, by the way, playing very well against Golden State. Yeah. And he been getting the bus. And, you know, as a player, I ain't going to say I don't like him. He just... He's kind of douchey. Yeah. Dylan is. Brooks kind of a douchebag. Uh, Maybe he'll grow on you. Maybe douchebag says what? What? Well, because I but have... he hoop, though. He, he does hoop. Right. At the end of the day, he finna leave it all on the floor. Mm-hmm. Every single time. Because I have Draymond. I can't stand Draymond. There's uh, a kid out of... He punched... Um, he's on Spider in the, um, the joint. Yeah, Draymond... I, I, there are so many people that could do and replace what Draymond Green does, in my opinion, if they committed. The one thing Draymond does do is he commits to his role on the Warriors... And really, where it goes out of his way to set screens, focus on defense. But if you can get a young kid to to like and say, "Hey, look, if you do this, you're going to have a long career here and make a lot of money." There was a kid out of Indiana, Trace David Jackson, who I was just salivating over the six nine, salivating. a little maybe to the point of it might be pause worthy because I'm like, oh, pause. put him um, in. He's cheaper than Draymond right now, six so nine. He ben said Simmons he wanted to balls. be Draymond. Remember. Yes, in the as we he play. said, you want to be Draymond, and if you think about it, like he is the new school Draymond. Yeah, like for real, for real, and you know he shoot better than Draymond. Draymond he does, yeah, and he go out there, he put all of it in there every time. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. But like he he goes through and do his he, he do his thing, bro. Yeah. So the Golden State Warriors will hopefully get to watch them at least get off the eleven game road night tonight as we get no, to see them lose. live. H town. Uh, I might not go, but I, if I do go, it's gonna be lit. We gonna sit on the floor, um, and then you know if not, I watch it at home. I don't care. Other news and notes in the NBA: The Lakers last night. Austin Reeves had his career high thirty five points. Austin Reeves. Okay. Lakers are now in tenth place. Only a couple Still games. Trash. Well, only a couple games out of seventh. And the newest thing that just came out today. Coach Darvin Ham said LeBron will be back, hopefully, for the end of the regular season. So. They're with the trades and everything. I would hate to be a Memphis or a Denver and get stuck with the Lakers if they can be healthy, which is the biggest if in the history uh, of ifs. They're not. They show um they showed a meme of them retiring AD uh jersey. <laughs> it was his uh his shirt, bro. Yeah. Like like come on, bro. Yeah. Like like no. Uh Lakers are the Lakers. They they the Lakers, bro. They ain't doing nothing right now. I, I wanna I get, love LeBron to death. As yeah. a human being, you bro, he he lit. Mm -hmm. But like they, that team, I don't know. The other things I want to point out real quick, NBA, and then we'll get to more video fun because that's just I just enjoy that shit. Yeah. Um, the Celtics, by the way, are now five and five in their last ten. Have now yep, moved the down. The Bulls, the Bulls put it down. I think DeRozan had forty nine, and Levine had uh, Zach had uh, thirty nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get down. Shy town. A very y'all are one player away, and Lonzo Ball. You know Lonzo Ball might yeah, be they gone. Said, yeah, they say uh, next season. Uh, 
Dang, man. Yeah. <sighs> That's a big one. We, but, uh, we still going to win, though. Uh, I get it. You that get sucks, one more though. big player there. You got a real thing going on Chicago, but did just beat Boston. No, nah, we got Debo. What you mean? You got some real easy, easy. We, we I'm still going to say we won the championship. You're still going to say? say that. I'm always going to say Chicago above everybody. Currently in the 10th seed. <sighs> Don't bring all the stats. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. You do, too soon? 10th seed. Do really? Don't matter. Really? Really? Hey. Really? 10 to win. A lot of people you know, seem to have Boston a little more favored than Chicago this year. And Boston, though, is struggling. Five and five, now yeah. down to third. Philadelphia Philly, has yeah. I moved see, uh, up ahead of them. Shout out James Harden. Please move back to Houston. Move back to our building so we can turn up. Um, Philly nine nah, and one in their I mean, last ten. Yeah. Won eight in a row. Yeah. I mean, playoffs is a different ball game. Mm-hmm. So it don't – you can watch these teams right now. You can see him do this right here. But, look, it's mental. Playoffs is a different ball game. Now yeah, you sure. know it's on the line. Just like March Madness, it's a different ball game. Like Princeton won, it's a different ball game, bro. It's this game you got to win. This game right here. Yeah. And since I am right to the point of boredom, I will point out one more time my. I told you from earlier in this podcast weeks ago, my favorite. Man, I'm tired of being right. I, I don't know what else the Milwaukee Bucks have to do to prove to you that they're going to probably nope. destroy everyone. No, nope, because because uh, Giannis said he said I'm not as talented as a KD. Mm-hmm. And like he said all that, so they're not winning. I don't care. I'm from Chicago. I don't care about Milwaukee. They ain't winning nothing. By the way, Giannis. They got Jerry Curls. Yeah, Giannis said that to to emphasize that, you know, I don't have as much natural talent, so I work harder than everyone. Yeah, he the, said that. The extra part of that quote. Uh, Mr. Untalented, by the way, last night had one of the f- only fourth ever triple doubles. So, fourth. I like Giannis. I know Giannis don't get me, don't get it twisted. I like Giannis. Yeah. But I'm from Chicago, so I don't really rock with Milwaukee. Giannis out of Decumpo last night. Had not just a 20 point triple double, but one of the only times in history that he did it without missing a shot. He ain't missing it? He had 20 plus points, like 13 rebounds, 11 assists, did not miss a single damn shot. Shout out Giannis, but I don't care. It's Milwaukee. I'm from Chicago. Whatever. I don't care. You don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I said it. I don't care. I'm from Chicago. He doesn't care. I don't care. Might as well move to racing. You know what it is? No. Yeah. I heard a racing. I don't know where it is, though. Yeah. 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 Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Next. Milwaukee. Next, next All right. No, we, can, Milwaukee, we can move nothing. on, but Milwaukee's going to win the whole no, damn thing not. this year. Milwaukee ain't winning. What are they missing? Well, I almost cussed. Uh, you know what? Milwaukee ain't winning nothing. What, what are they missing? I don't care. The they Bulls. got they they just added Jay Crowder and others. Jay Rue Holiday. Oh, they did. Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Drew yeah, Holiday yeah. is really. Drew is solid. Drew is arguably he's in solid, bro. The and he best. low key solid, bro. They don't even know he's solid like that. The best on both sides of the ball for a point yeah. guard in the league. Yeah, Drew is a yeah. dog. He like yeah, he he definitely a dog. They yeah. don't even they don't even talk about that because right. they talk about Giannis, but Drew is a dog. I get shout out Drew. Yeah, so you got him. You got shooters. You know, like Allen, Connaughton, Crowder. Uh, Brooke uh, Lopez. Uh, uh, Middleton. Middleton. Yeah. They're seven footer. They got a deep bench now. They got a young I don't stud. Care. Chicago, championship experience. Milwaukee ain't winning nothing. <sighs> Chicago. First of all, they can make it past Boston. Boston right now is cre- is creeping down. Yeah, that's fine. It's a different postseason game. Mm-hmm. When the postseason start, bro, when you play this team for seven games or five games, whatever the NBA on, on you know, you're playing this team. You know how this, pe- these, pe- this person plays, bro. Remember what else I told you? See, I done told you. I done told you. Boston and Milwaukee played each other last year. Now, what happened was... And Boston lost. I mean, uh, Milwaukee, Milwaukee lost. Milwaukee lost. What yeah. happened, What happened though, Do you, if you remember, because I had to remember this too, what's the difference, though, currently as far as the standings? What's the difference in that Game 7 if they meet each other again this year? As you were discussing, as we've yeah, been talking. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Milwaukee's, I know how it's probably going to go. Milwaukee's going to be at home this time for game seven. I know how that goes. I know how it goes. But Milwaukee ain't winning that. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't rocking with Milwaukee, Chicago, bro. <sighs> let's yeah. have some fun. Let's, let's look at some videos because I'm, I'm upsetting Tony now. He doesn't want to talk about it. I'm but not upset. I'm never upset, bro. Milwaukee never. Bucks are going to probably win Milwaukee the whole Milwaukee ain't winning thing. nothing. Mm. Short of an injury, I don't see how. I don't see how they lose. I'm going with uh, like what I said. I said the Suns. Right. Yeah, Katie. Five and five in their last ten. Lost again care. last night to the Thunder. Kevin Durant, don't let me down, bro. Kevin Durant, Do not, not playing. Let Milwaukee win this, bro. Do not let Milwaukee. No, I'm going Katie. Okay. 
Um, speaking of people going kind of crazy, and, and he's gonna brush his hair. Yeah. Oh man, that's, <laughs> he's, he's, not, he's not. He's not. I he's ain't touching that. That's he's not. He's not. But it's fine. I'll talk about the African influx in college he's basketball. Not, he's not. Kevin Durant's he's not. hair. He's not brushing his hair. We know that. I'm leaving that alone. There are certain hey, things Katie, that I. If you need a barber, because he's white. Because he's white. Because he is white. Look at him, man. Tony does do haircuts. Yeah, I'm nice with that. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, real quick, there was another upset over the weekend no one really cares about um, as far as outside of the amateur wrestling world. Mm-hmm. But there's this kid, Lee, and he had won three national titles in a row. He was like the most dominant wrestler of all time. Yeah. And he lost to some four seed. And it was like in the wrestling situation was considered like the biggest upset. This is like, to the, you know, Houston, five slam a jam, a losing NC State, Tyson oh, Douglas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His mom his was mom? a trip. His mom is a trip. Run that boy. back, Turbo. I've had Easy. some, I, you know, I love my mama too. But No kind of saying this, you're wrong. Mom is right. Uh, my mom could be a wild fan. So after he, after he lost this. She's my mom, a whole Christian. With yeah. All the church hats. Yes. All of them. Here was uh, the, the kid who lost his mom going crazy in the stands. Oh! And that's unfortunate. Oh, I see broken that's glasses. That's unfortunate to see, but oh. this is the. I finally know my glasses are right this now. This is what boy. happens here, Jim. Yeah, There's so uh, much at stake here. Oh, the, the memories are just. Right. In- come on, Mama, be happy. Uh, Mama say that happiness is from magic rays of sunshine that come down when you're feeling blue. <laughs> Bro, I don't know my glasses are right now. I wouldn't break them. Man, she broke the brakes off. You can see where yeah, her. She big mad. Yeah, see where his abilities and strength came from. Let's watch Mama one more time. <laughs> She's big, man. She really is. She's she not She wrestled happy. the glasses. Yeah, she, She's wrestling she, with the glasses. Came you down you to the ground. You should have did this. <laughs> she big, man. Why did you do this, son? Why did you do this? Twisty bend move. You must have bent him up like this. I told you this when I whooped you when you were seven. What happens here, There's so much at stake here. Oh, the memory. Uh, so much at stake here, man. Poor That's mom. Great. No kind of saying it's your Big mom. Big mom. Big mom. Right. Big mom. Big mom. That was sad. That's cool. There was crazy. Since we're on mamas. I could do a whole like joke, but I don't want to get it. Nah, we're gonna do mama jokes. Since we just got off mama, because you know, gonna... you know, you pull off uh, like Jai pulled up with nine people behind behind his mama. Right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna do mama jokes. Um, That's a black thing. I'm sorry. We got a mom making a joke. As far yeah. as this was just a fun one I saw. So her kid was playing little league, you know, basketball. You know what I mean? Like you know, yeah. whatever. Mom thought she'd have some fun with her kid. That's what it is. Kind of shot of <laughs> I'm, her, I'm her mom. <laughs> Got heckled yeah. by her own mama. Good job, mom. <laughs> Run that back. Yeah, yeah. I love that. She's laughing. She's having a good time. Yeah, kind of saying it's your love. And that's the sports. Mama's about. right. Sports should be about that. Yeah, having a good time, having fun. You know, I get it. She air ball, but like, it's having fun time. with soccer it. moms. You got to drive around, do all this other mm. stuff every day. Enjoy it though. Yeah. Enjoy it. It's a sport. Enjoy it. Right. Like, it doesn't define your life. Some people it does, but it doesn't. Oh, I can tell you so many stories of kids that should have gone on. They got burned out by these by psychotic parents, parents yeah. that pushed them way too hard, too young. Yeah, just enjoy your life, bro. Yeah. If you get air balls, have fun with it. Yeah. That's her mom, too. Air balls! <laughs> <laughs> mom, I'm about that life. I'm mom. It's fine. It's fine. Come on, mom. Turn up. <laughs> Turn up. I love it. Uh, I'll, t- I'll tell you a fun story that happened to me when I was young. Played um, some of my buddies from the predominantly black school. And we all know each other. If you hoop, yeah, you know yeah. each other. Yeah, and hoop. so, and we're competitive, pushing back and forth, and we're no kind of getting into it. No doubt. But we were at home that day, so we had the white jerseys on. And yeah. my mom has, you think my voice carries? My mom has a voice that will travel all the way to the other side. It will travel to the... To I met your mom. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. So in the middle of the game, with everyone who already knows me and knows who I am and knows my parents, she screams out, the white guys are getting fouled too. And she meant... <laughs> yeah. Never. Yeah. It's all right. She was... Because uh, it's all white. And... The rest of the game, I'm catching nut shots. You know what I mean? Like they're like, yeah. "Bro, what's up with your mom?" You know, I'm like, yeah. "She, I think she meant the." Jer- I, I, I don't, uh, I didn't know. Because he's white. Because he is white. Look at him, man. What you want? I wish I'd have been there for that. That's funny. Yeah, so I kind of got dope. my ass That's kicked the rest dope. of the time. That's super dope. Shout out to moms. Shout out to mom. 
Let's do a couple more here. These are always my favorite, some of my favorite parts of the Shout night. Shout out to my mom, too. Hey, mom, I'm on TV. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Kind of. Internet TV. What else did I want to get to? Oh, um, like we talked about life comes at you fast. We'll end on this. Life comes at you fast in a lot of ways. College. Big thing that happened last night in college. So, Gonzaga. Yeah, Gonzaga. I love Senior him. again led mostly. Timmy. Timmy. Looks like he should be in a rec league somewhere. That's a bad boy. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, they were able to beat TCU last night. But the big thing that happened was the point spread. So Gonzaga was negative four and a half, which means they have to win by at least four plus points in order mm-hmm. for everyone in Vegas. And boy, talk about money and talk about. That's why I said it's crazy that the NBA uh, gave job eight games. Mm hmm. You know money, 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 money. Yeah, money, it's money, money, bro. Money. It's money. It's, Same thing in college. It's way more money, bro. Like, yeah. In college, you know, with the NIL, yeah, I get it. Right. So, right at the end of the game, the game's over. Everything's done. You have TCU is down seven. Gonzaga's covered the point spread, right? Mm-hmm. Wrong. Got it cracked. Point seven <laughs> seconds left. Let me just throw this ball up here. Wet. And I blew a point spread. Wet. Point spread busted. Damn, it's gone. He made Vegas so mad. Just on some on some random chucking it up. Listen to this part. If we can hear it. You can barely hear it, but Avery Johnson even says, something just happened, but I'm not going to touch it. Even he knew, like, wow, the point spread just got blown. Yeah, for no reason. By a half-court shot. And it's gone. <laughs> for no reason. Shout out to Bulldogs. Gambling's bad. I'm a, a Bulldog. I went to uh, Waukegan High School. I'm a Bulldog. Yeah. yeah. So that sucked for anyone that was betting on the Gonzaga TCU, a just pointless half-court yeah. shot ruined. For no reason. Yeah. <laughs> just chunk that bitch. He's like, whatever. Yeah. Life comes at you fast. Sometimes life will come at you fast, even if you're playing pickup basketball. Check this yeah. out. Yeah. We're fun. We're doing and it's- <laughs> oh, the whole rim fell. Wait, wait, wait. You want to see it again? Oh, uh, we're playing pickup basketball. We're having a good time. And shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so, uh, he beat man. Uh, good news. He's okay. Uh, he good. good news. He's he okay. Good. But yeah, just yeah, smashed bad, 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 by the back. And it's God. I worry. Okay. Thanks for worrying. I'm good. You good, bro. Yeah. He's all right. He's all right. Life yeah. comes at you fast. Sometimes though, you break the backboard in the right way. I don't even know what game this came from. I have to look this up, but God dog, if I could have done this once in my life, I would have been the happiest little Basketball player the world has ever got seen. No bunnies, though, bro. You can't do that. I got zero bun- got bunnies. I never had bunnies. I think I still can dunk right now. I promise you, I probably can still dunk. You, you definitely yeah, have more. Natural. I probably, st- yeah. I probably still can dunk. Because he's white. Because he's white. Because he is white. I Look am, at him, man. What you I am the man? real life Billy Hoyle in a lot of ways. Like I've lived the Billy Hoyle life. Nah, hey, don't get it twisted. Brink is shoot. Right. His- Ass off. I'm just gonna say that. And I've Break lived and shoot, bro. And I've lived it to where I've been picked up and I'll get picked like last or yeah. you know what I no, mean? No, no, for real. I ain't gonna say you on no Steph Curry level, but like Brink and shoot. Yeah. Brink and shoot. He don't miss. Went one of my boys to He don't uh, drink and smoke, so he's supposed to make this shit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Went to a club, by the way, the other day. Uh you know the club I'm talking about. Yeah. And I was telling a girl that I played basketball and she, and again, same thing, looked me up and down and goes, You played basketball? I'm like Yes, I play. Yeah, yeah, I'm nice with it. You yeah, don't even know you yeah. get it busting. Like, it's all right. It's cool. It's all right. It's all right. Cause it's hey, man, all give me right. my praises too when I when I show you what it is. Yeah, on the court, bro. Like, I got something for you. We'll go play basketball today. Can either one of us do this though? Watch this clip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh he got busy on that. Yeah. I don't even know what game that from. I don't even care. That's the best. Yeah, you that's can on go. his head. Daryl Dawkins, he Shaq, yeah, all of yeah, that. Yeah, Dawkins, yeah, he put it on his head right that, there. That's the best backboard break I've ever seen ever yeah. pull, pulled out in a and game. Look how you, look at it, runner back. Runner yeah, back, look right, at yeah, this. Yeah, right, 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 right. yeah, come get this. Come get this. Ah, 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 let me get all that. Like, I'm screaming for him. Just, let ah, me, ah, let me get all that. Yeah, let me get all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He banged that up. One bang out. Bang out. Bang out. Do that. Bring one last time. Bang one out. Time. Oh, yeah? Come get some. 
Just once. Yeah. Would have been nice. Yeah, I, I, I want to do that. I'm going to do that when I get home. You're going to do that? We're going to do that when, we, home, when we go to the court? Bang out when I get home. I'm just going to have to rain in threes on you. Bang out. That's fine. A dunk is more uh, dis, uh, discombobulating than the three-pointer. Oh, absolutely. As far as momentum, I, I, I have to talk about I want to sometimes look up the stat on like a highlight dunk, how much that affects the next you. two. It cha- bro, changes the team, changes the crowd. When you dunk on somebody, bro, it changes you. Yeah. It changes you. Mm-hmm. When I, you ain't never dunk on nobody. No. I know. When I dunk on people, bro, that shit changes you. Mm-hmm. Like, you're like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, I just dunked them. Yeah. So it changes you. Now you feel like you do anything. Right. Because that okay. person was trying to stop you from dunking. All right. All right. All hyped up. Uh, I'm All hyped down. up when we got to go. I'm going to calm down. We done? We done. Give me one more. One more video. You want one more? <sighs> one more video, man. I don't know if I have any more. I don't know if I have any more to give. All right, well. Let me see what else I got. Let me, let me see if I have anything left in the tank for my man Tony who doesn't want to leave just yet. I appreciate it. I got to go home, man. I got some people in my house, man. Life comes at you fast. Look at this. Last one. Little League pitcher. Bet. Getting too cocky. Bet, bet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to strike this dude. The funny part, the funny part of this, watch it again, is that he shook off the catcher, which is a big no-no unless you really think like, nah, I'm about to, you know, yeah. he threw off the signal and decided to throw his own pitch. The 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 look on his face is what does this. <laughs> throw that, nah, nah, I know what I'm doing. I'm throwing bullets today, boss. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> curveball i ain't throwing hey, no curve i'm about to throw this heat and you know what i mean now it's my presence with authority and it's gone hey brent i'm gonna say man i appreciate you having me on your show and it's gone yeah man always fun the uh the award-winning double b brent bilski tony blackburn allows me to be on this uh show with him he uh puts up my uh shenanigans love it and then i come here yeah it's fun we talk about sports he gets notes and, and stuff. So, you know. But we'll be back soon. We'll be back on Wednesday. 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 Yep. Chuck come back home tomorrow. Yeah. So, you know, my son will be back. I'll be back in dad mode. Yeah. We'll be back in sports be, mode when we come I, back, though. We got to go. We got to roll. I'm looking at already, the Already. Already. Let go. All right.